are raised garden beds right for you? Raised garden beds have become very, very popular in recent years um, versus planting directly into the ground. Uh, and there are pros and cons to each type of, of gardening, but how can you know specifically if raised garden beds are right for you? So a lot of people have the kind of misconceptions about what raised garden beds are all about. They think maybe it's easier than planting in ground, maybe it's more efficient, all that. Not necessarily. Uh, raised garden beds definitely do come with quite a lot of benefits, but there are, uh, are also some downsides, so you'd have to think about those. So specifically, raised garden beds can be very beneficial if, for example, your native soil is not that great. Uh, maybe it's too acidic, too basic, too this or that, maybe too rocky. Uh, if your native soil is not doing great and maybe you don't want to bother with soil tests and remediating the soil and adding bags of, of you know garden soil into it, uh, you could just get a raised garden bed. You don't have to worry about soil testing. You just put it in exactly what kind of soil mixture you want into the garden beds. Uh, so that makes it really, really simple um, to bypass that soil testing step. And also, raised garden beds, you can put them pretty much wherever you want. They look nice. Um, either you can buy your own or you can build them. It's much cheaper to build them. Uh, you're just from wood or concrete blocks or bricks, whatever you have lying around. Um, but besides that, uh, raised garden beds also offer some benefits against weeds because obviously you're creating your own kind of environment here within the raised garden bed so weeds are much less common uh, when you grow your garden that way but also there are some downsides you have to look out for with raised garden beds first of all if you're gonna buy them it can be pretty expensive some of the high quality say metal uh, garden beds they can be several hundred dollars they are very large and very beneficial but they are expensive so you know if you're kind of tight on money Buying garden beds may not be the best route. You can, as I said before, build them, which is still going to cost some money, but uh, unless you have some some stuff already laying around. But uh, the cost is higher than digging directly into the ground. Um, now, another downside is you do have to figure out a, an economical way to fill up the garden beds. Um, one mistake that a lot of people make is filling up the beds entirely with dirt, which is a good way to waste a lot of money. Um, a way to bypass this is by putting a bunch of logs and sticks in the bottom, then piling dirt on top of that. So, you know, half of it is, is, is logs and sticks, which will eventually compost into something more nutritious for your plants. And then the top layer is obviously more dirt and compost and things like that um, for your plants. Now, in terms of determining whether or not you should do raised garden beds or plant directly in the ground, uh, it's going to depend on your location and how the growing conditions are in your location. So again, if your native soil is not good or maybe you're in kind of a flood zone, you know, lots of water kind of stagnates in the ground where you are, uh, it's not going to be a great idea to do planting in the ground, directly in the ground, uh, because more than likely your plants are going to suffer and maybe even die. Um, so in those cases, it would be better to do raised garden bed because you wouldn't have to deal with those sort of issues. Um, but if you are in a more favorable environment, maybe, you know, there's no flooding, there, your, your soil is quite good, um, then you shouldn't have any problem being able to plant directly in the ground compared to doing raised garden beds. Um, now another benefit, which is for those who have bad backs, is that raised garden beds you don't have to hunch over as much um, and strain your back. But uh, besides that, I mean, they're both very good methods. And it's just uh, kind of up to your lo locale to determine whether or not you want to do raised garden beds or planting directly into the ground. Uh, but pretty much as long as you consider these, you know, these pros and cons, uh, it shouldn't be too difficult for you to make the right choice. But hopefully this video was helpful to you. Uh, and if it was, of course, leave a like and maybe subscribe. And I make videos throughout the week, so don't miss those.